welcome to my channel, Ness Knows, where I talk about all things money, lifestyle, and travel. Today's video is nothing short of a treat. You guys are really, really, really gonna like this one. It is actually a wine review. You guys know, no, 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 if it's two things, that's four. If it's two things I love, it's wine and espresso martinis. So, if this is your first time on my channel, I wanna say thank you for watching, thank you for tuning in. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I'd love to have you watch future videos. And so to give you guys a little bit of context, the wine company that I'm reviewing today is called Kind of Wild Wines. They are an organic wine company that is very big on like sustainability, just all things green and, and you know, clean and sustainable in the production of wine. I'm a cosmetic chemist. I don't know. I don't know how people make wine. I don't know what goes into making wine. Definitely some science in there. But that's not like the science I know. But it's some science in there and I'm happy that there's actually, you know, an initiative within the wine industry to produce sustainable and clean and organic wine because I think you guys have all seen throughout skincare, hair care, there is this reoccurring trend of like clean beauty. So now it's looking like we got clean wine, ladies. And so first of all, I just have to say, I don't know if it's the lighting. But the makeup today, <laughs> wow. Wow. Or is it the blazer? Like, I don't know. I feel like I did a little psalm psalm. I'm not an eyeshadow girly, but I got like three different eyeshadow colors. Three, like two different palettes. <laughs> okay. I feel like I'm doing something, you know? <laughs> no, I'm just saying, no, I'm just kidding with y'all. <laughs> So let's jump right in into some top line details on kind of wild wine, right? So they are, are organically farmed by a small family of growers. Um, they're pesticide, herbicide free. Um, they say that they don't use additives. They have a lower alcohol content. So less than the 13% um, ABV that's like typically standard for, for wine. Um, what else do we have here? So it says that they like providing consumers with direct access to high quality organic and vegan certified wines. Personally, I don't see how wine would not be vegan. This is true, but I could be wrong. Um, and it says the healthy soils are void of chemicals um, and are abundant in microorganisms that regenerate legacy carbon. So that's what I mean by, um, basically from the details I got, it seemed like this is a, a really, really clean and sustainable wine company because, like I said, I'm not necessarily familiar, but I can understand that, um, you know, grapes being grown and you need certain type of insecticides and, and herbicides to make sure that, like, the little bugs don't eat the grapes and that, you know, like the soil and everything stays healthy while the, the plant grows. Um, and then like the, while the grapes grow, then that becomes the, the wine after like the, the chemical process that takes place over there. Um, but I think I, the reason I was drawn to the company and I, I told the guy very candidly, I was like, these are very interesting claims from, from a wine company. Like, unless I'm really listening, like not hip to it. I've never seen somebody claim like, oh, my wine is organic. I think that's pretty cool. And so I was super excited to work with them. They sent me six bottles to try. I got glasses. I got, I got snacks, actually. I do got some snacks. We gotta get the snacks. I got snacks, you know, to like cleanse your palate as you're trying all the wine stuff. So this is how the box came kind of wild made with organic grapes supporting organic growers one percent donated to environmental partners free of unwanted additives sustainable for soil health love it this is so cute i love that these coasters are adored hello we gonna get into this y'all know i love cute stuff these are wine coasters. Oh, oh. Pretty. So pretty. Oh. It's giving Earth, Mother, you know, Mother Nature. Uh, 
bomb.com. We ain't even, I ain't even opened any of the boxes yet. And I'm, wait, stop. I wonder if each coaster goes with a bottle of wine. Brain blast. I'm trying to tell y'all I'm so smart. So there's another call out I want to mention is that 1% of the proceeds go to environmental partners. So I think that that's cool because they're giving back like locally and in ways that help continue to support the environment. Shout out to y'all. Kind of wild. I see y'all miss mamas. Ooh. I don't know where to start. I'm so excited. Ah! God knew. Talk about reds. I love Malbec, 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 however you want to say it. But this looks like a Malbec mix with Cabernet Sauvignon. Cabernet Sauvignon. Sauvignon. Y'all know I speak French. Y'all stop that. <laughs> oui. <laughs> Second. <laughs> okay, so what's really funny is last time I did a wine review, I got a little lit. But I don't know what we got if we say it at this time. But, oh, let me get y'all the details on that. Oh wait, it's probably on these little sticker things. Not sticker things. Is it this one? Y'all. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so I'm confused. It got a lot of a lot of text. All right, so let's let's start with this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show y'all the bottle. Can you see? Uh oh. Yep. There we go. And I'm gonna read the copy. And the description. So it says, it's an honor to present this deep yet fruity red blend from Argentine, pioneers of sustainable viticulture and socially responsible winemaking. It will have your palate doing a tango while you contemplate your next move. The words I exaggerated were in bold. I felt like they needed a little razzle dazzle. Um, I think that's one thing I do like I do like about Malbec is I think it's specific to Argentina. That's like Argentina red wine. And I'm like, that's tough. Um, so just like how I like my Malbec, it says you can pair it with a tender steak grilled to perfection, then topped with a delicious bath of chimichurri is a perfect pair. Love that. Um, and then this is from the Mendoza region of Argentina. And this is cool because this is like the, the little, um, the coaster. It's like a coaster that comes with it. So, okay, let's give this a try. Also, I'm going to link anything that is of interest to you guys. So this is actually an electric wine opener I got from my housewarming party. Shout out to my friend mom. And then these are glasses that I also found from Amazon. And so I'll link that for you guys to, to access as well. But it's the branding for me. Look at that. Y'all like, y'all not, y'all is not seeing what the girlies need y'all to see tough i like i it's, i love like little details like that you know what i'm saying the way you use it she only has two buttons so you're gonna press down until she can't go down anymore and then you pretty sure here we go told y'all and i think you, this is when you pull <laughs> It's lit. And then, I think you go like this. You press up so she releases. Lit. Alright, cool, 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 cool. So, let's try the mouth back. I'm so excited. Okay, pour. Y'all see my. Oh, ah! Got a little mess go. Y'all see my pour technique? Um, so because I'm right now I'm giving rich bougie black auntie. You know? Apparently, apparently there's like really bougie ways to drink it after wine. Miss Mom, I'll have time for none of that. We just we gonna sip and serve and sip and serve and sip and serve and sip and serve. Okay, smells rich. I like that. I like, I look good as hell. I'm so sorry. I don't even know. I can't even focus. I look really good. Like, I give housewife vibes. And I'm like, God, I'm ready. God, I'm ready to be a housewife. Um, okay, let's taste this. Tell you something. That shit is tart. <laughs> Ah, 
don't know. I don't know. Back on that. I don't, that means I don't know in Creole. One more time. No, Malbec should not be mixed with Cabernet. That's how I feel about that. I feel like that's not an okay. The Razzle Dazzle is not okay there. Okay, so this is our next one. I'm gonna try my best to read it to y'all. This thing is in Italian. Um, Monte Pulciano da Bruzzo. It's red. That's all I know. It says, we stumbled upon this lovely and expressive Montepulciano hailing from the back of the boot, right off the Adriatic Sea. Lay back in your hammock and shoot the breeze, and you'll be saying, tutto bene, like a loco. All is good, all is well. You know, <laughs> I've been to Italy, I've been to Italy. Can't speak no Italian though, but I've been to Italy. I like it there. All right, let's open this up. There we go. Hey, Miss Mama. Oh, I was using it all wrong. That's how you're supposed to use it. Oh my God. It goes all the way up in there. See, this is why I always say stuff gotta come in with instructions for me. All them degrees on the wall and certain things just don't click, but it's okay. All right, let's try this one. I feel like this one's a little darker than my mouth bag. I just hope it tastes good. Cause y'all gonna be zero for two. Not zero. I'll get that. We gonna get to the ratings. We gonna rate it later. Um, let's see. I like this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Usually it'll say like if it where it lands on like a dry sweet meter. Um, let's see. No, this is good. Like this is how I like my wine. Like it goes down so smooth. Like. Yeah, it's like no awkward tingling things going on in my mouth. Uh, <laughs> it's giving. <laughs> that was so aggressive. But no, for real. Um, I have like no complaints. Let's see what the little card says. This is, I still can't say it. Monte Pulciano, that's how I'm gonna say it. Okay, Abruzzo, Italy. Oh, that's what the D apostrophe, I know that, I know that. I should have known that. Oh wait, cool. Let's get to this next one. All right, so here it is. I know if y'all can read that. It is a Tempralino. I can never. <laughs> Yo, these things be whooping my ass. Okay, it's called a Tempranilo. That's how I'm gonna say it. Garnaca? I don't know. Oh, it's from Spain. All right, let me get a glass. Let's get a glass. We can get into this. So if y'all knew how many times I use this wine opener, and I'm not trying to, funny, trying to be funny, like I just did it correctly on the video. All right, let's go. Uh -oh. Not the wine opener, dude. It's dead. Oh, it's not. Oh, God. You see, that's the Aquarius in me panicking. All right, let's go. One, two, three. Why is that? Why is that doing what it needs to do? Oh, oh my God! I never took the one. The other one was still in there. <laughs> like I always say, all them degrees and my marbles just don't be marbling. But okay, let's go. Oh, okay, this is cool. So, is it stuck? Uh oh. Oh no. All right, my tech. 
it's my technique. My, my technique is not it. It's not it. Let's see what the coaster says. My technique is not it. Is this the one? Tempranillo. Oh, it's a blunt. Oh, okay. Wow. The dash means it's a blend. Okay. So on the bottle, it says, after a long quest, we came upon this rich and spicy, oh, I'm excited, bread blend from a grower in the heart of Spain, formerly ancient land of castles and kings. It will inspire a more honorable and chivalrous demeanor, much like Don Quixote. I read about that man a long time ago in like uh, middle school or something. All right, so let's try. Again, these wine glasses are from Amazon, cause I love Amazon. Amazon got everything I need. I'm loving the red wine theme though. Okay. I'm not liking the smell already. Great. I'm probably not supposed to do this, huh? I'm not gonna lie to the Okay. It's the smell. I don't know what it. The smell, not it. That's all I'm gonna say. Yo, that's so crazy. You know how I read it and they said it was spicy? It's spicy. Like, and it's funny because I wouldn't even use the word tart. It's definitely like some. It's like, it's like an explosion happening in the back of my mouth. Um, it's not bad. Still like it more than a Malbec. I felt like the Malbec did me dirty. I hyped her up so much, and <coughs> oh, <coughs> okay, Miss Mamas. Um, that's what it is. It's like very fruity. I'm trying to like explain. The spiciness, it's like, it's fruity. Like, it says carne asada will melt in your mouth as you sip the magic of this fruit forward red blend with lush dark fruits and a smooth spicy finish. It always is a great option for a vegan lasagna. I was just about to say like, this would go well with some pasta. And they said lasagna, we on the same page. Kind of wild, like, I like y'all. Definitely is giving razzle dazzle. That's all, I, that's all I can explain it as. Big razzle dazzle vibes. Um, so that was like the first three. Done. Ooh. All the reds are done. I love red wine though, so I'm a little sad. I just noticed the way I can, remember how I was struggling to put the coasters together? <laughs> They got the same design. That's so cool. I will say, kind of wild. Y'all are doing 10 out of 10 on the branding. Like, y'all are y'all are giving the girlies what they what they need to see. Now we're going to get into the white wine. Honestly, I'm not the biggest white wine fan. I really only drink it because of my friends, because they're soft. I feel like real wine drinkers drink red. That's my bias, I don't care. Um, but I only drink white wine, unless it's Bartonora. I don't really drink white wine like that. Like, I'm really not like a white wine girl. But we got some white wine in the stash, so we're gonna pull out, I got some cuter, well not cuter, cause let me tell you, all my wine glasses is cute. I got some different wine glasses here. Getting them off the board court. We gonna link the bar cart too, cause everything need a link. So, yeah, we're about to get into these whites. Well, it's two whites and one rosé. All right, so. Oh, that's so funny. Okay, I think I had this before. In my other wine video, I had a wine. I couldn't say the name, like a lot of them. But I was like, oh, maybe it's like German. Okay, but this is from Austria. It's called a Gruner Velti line. Oh, Jesus. <clears throat> Don't be looking at the degrees back there. Look over here, look. Look over here. Don't be looking at the degrees back there. All right? They, I didn't learn Austrian in, in college, okay? Pro that's probably not the language, is it? TBD gonna put 
I didn't know. Okay, so this is called. So, oh, let me show y'all. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. So this white, I'm going to say it's called a Gruner Veltliner. A Gruner Veltliner. So it says this zippy, first of all, that's a fire word, okay? Zippy to describe anything, it gives razzle dazzle 2.0. So this zippy Gruner Veltliner comes from a young and dynamic multi-generational family winemaker in Austria. It will transport you to the Alps and have you yodeling from the hilltops during your après ski, après ski, après ski is when you you're done skiing or snowboarding for the day and you go to like the bar and you you basically get lit but it's like usually like a bar and like a ski lodge and they'll have like signature drinks it's usually like drinks that are like warm with alcohol to like um keep you pumped after like your adrenaline rush from going skiing and i know that because your girl's a skier Okay, not a ski er, I'd be skiing. Let's put it that way. But okay, let's get into this. I feel like I only did it right that one time. There we go. Oh, okay, I gotta just keep practicing. A little embarrassing that I that I can't use an electric wine opener, but it's okay. It's okay. Ha ha! Ha ha! This is just the girl. This is the nature girl. This is the... I'm actually really excited for this. Let's do it. Are they cute? Cute. Cute, cute. All right. It kind of tastes like, um, it's like fruit juice. <laughs> so we're not gonna knock it. We're not gonna knock it. I mean, I wasn't, but I'm picky though too, so there's that. Um, but yeah, it was good. I like it. I can't really like, let me try one more time. It's like light. Like that's really all I could say. It's like light and fruity. Light and fruity, like not dry. And it's not too sweet. Okay, let's say that. It's not too sweet, it's not too dry. Light and fruity, light and fruity, easy on the tongue. You could drink this for breakfast. Not telling y'all to drink wine for breakfast, but you know, it's like giving daytime drink. It's fine. Maybe froze. Ooh, what's a white wine froze? A wine froze, but white wine, this would be the one. Because mm -hmm. I'm not about to fake and make a word for y'all and then sound silly. So, whatever a froze with white wine, a wine martini, no, a wine margarita, mm -hmm. a wine smoothie, that's the one you'd put in it. Yep, redemption. Uh, okay, we have two. I keep doing that, but this, I really need two. I'm like a peace sign girl. I don't know why. I love like the awkward sign like wrist but I'm not 15 anymore like I need to find a, a new awkward thing to do with my hands huh <clears throat> okay so we have two more left I love rosé so we're gonna end with the rosé um we're gonna do another white <gasps> sauvignon blanc here we go super cute I keep looking at myself Yo, but like, can we talk about self-love for a minute? I'm not gonna lie, I do love myself a little more when I wear makeup, but that's okay, because that's what makeup is for. It's meant to enhance what God already gave you. Um, but <clears throat> I feel like when you love yourself, you look even more bomb, because it's like, you love you. Like, what? I love myself. <laughs> Oh! All right, I'm gonna make my own wine opener. That's gonna be my claim to fame. I got some improvements on this bad boy. Okay, let's go. Uh, 
Aha! Did it again, did it again, did it again. This bitch got me bannering. That's like one of my favorite songs right now and I only like that part. And it's weird. And I probably shouldn't have said the beat. Okay, yeah, so like I said, oh, oh, that's interesting. So it's Sauvignon Blanc, but from Chile, Chile, Chile. We tracked the Andes to find this quintessential Sauvignon Blanc from a unique and mostly unknown corner of Chile. It will have you wondering where this place has been all your life. Pack a couple of glasses and buy an alpaca for this mouth-watering adventure. Y'all talking heavy kind of wild. Y'all talking heavy. Let's go. All right. I feel like I've been a little inconsistent with the smelling. This smells good though. It smells like fruity and earthy at the same time. Y'all know I took a fragrance training. <laughs> Cause I work in the beauty industry and I did a fragrance training. So I know what fruity and earth and herby and it's, it's filling, it's giving fruity and herb herb but let's taste it definitely feeling the herb vibes okay there's something in there like let's let's read the card because I'm like I'm intrigued aha Platinum in hue, this zesty Sauvignon Blanc seduces with bright aromas of fresh mandarin blossom, fruity, all citrus. Technically, I was wrong. Mandarin is citrus, and jasmine kisses. Jasmine is floral. Distinct flavors that evoke its coastal origins. Mm hmm. Let's smell it again. Eyes closed. Actually, whenever you smell, you should close your eyes. Okay. I'm picking up the citrus. But it's it's good. Now this this classy, okay. I might I might find a Sobe, y'all. I like. Y'all know I'm not into I'm really not a white wine girl. So this one goes here. I'm not gonna lie, this whole little coaster setup I got going on is giving me like tic tac toe. Um okay, last, but when I say certainly not least. Oh, okay. I have a feeling I'm not gonna like this because I had a Sierra before. That was the nastiest one I ever had. <laughs> um, but um, this is the bottle. There you go, kind of, kind of wild, kind of wild Sierra and Grenache Rosé, South of France, South of France. We discovered this distinctly chic. <laughs> they talking to me. This this <laughs> this distinctly chic rosé from a third generation female winemaker in the south of France, very close to the Mediterranean Sea. It will have you daydreaming. You're cruising the Riviera, soaking up a pink sunset, sparkling cup. Oh, sparkling! Oh God. <laughs> okay, let's just take from top. We discovered this distinctly chic rosé from a third generation female winemaker in the south of France, very close to the Mediterranean Sea. It will have you daydreaming, you're cruising the Riviera, soaking up a pink sunset, sparkling over clear waters. Now, because I put respect on my name, I'm gonna cleanse my palate with some crackers before I try, oh, pita chips before I try. All right, let's get into this. So we're gonna hold it down. Where I feel like, oh, uh -oh. Aha! I think I'm two for two back to back. Back, to back. This is the last one. All right, I kind of want to go out with a bang. Let's see. Last time I told y'all what I thought it smelled like, I was really wrong, so we're not gonna talk about it. It's giving regular rosé though. It does smell a little earthy for a rosé. Like, oh, let's read it. Oh wait, I did read it. He, the card 
Layers of watermelon, cherries, and strawberries are accented by notes of rose petal and minerality. Ooh. So I guess it'll be fruity. But it smells like... I don't know. I'm a little I'm nervous. Yeah, it tastes like earth. Like I knew it was gonna taste like that. I feel like it's not as fruity or as sweet as I would expect a typical rose. I will say that, but it's not nasty. Definitely not nasty. Um, in terms of ranking, I would I would buy this and gift it. Like I think it's a nice experience. Yeah, it's like it's giving mid. It's it's giving mid. Not I don't hate it. I'm not like oh my god. But let's, let's try it one more time. That's how I get my taste buds there. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's okay. It's like mid, like I said. Now that I've basically tasted all of them, I actually wanna rank them from like worst to best. So let's do that. Let's, sorry, sorry Malbec. I typically love you, but I don't know what's going on here. We're gonna give the Malbec the worst. Not the worst, it's, it's, in, the, it's in last place, all right? So we're gonna do Malbec last place. Um, let's see, what else? What else was like, okay, this was like I said mid. This was like actually good for, for a white. We're gonna do, let me retaste this one. This is like that Austria one. Yep. We're gonna give this one, fifth place. And then we're gonna do, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause the rose, I felt like it was like mint, like I said. So the rose gets fourth place, all right. Third place, now I might, I think I confused, oh no, see this is why the coasters worked because I put the coasters on the actual wine. So this was like that spicy kind of red. Mm -hmm. Definitely could do. And then I remember I really liked this one. This was like, yeah, yeah. Mmm, this matchup is interesting. Oh my God, okay. So we're gonna do, again, because I'm really not a Sauvignon, I'm not a really white fan, and I was like, it's it, it was good for a white wine. We're gonna give the Sauvignon Blanc the number three spot. Go ahead, next to your sis, Miss. Um, that over here. And I'm gonna give this the Tempranillo, the number two spot, simply because it was it was a very interesting red, and um, I don't see this kind of often, so like I think it, I bumped it up too for like a uniqueness factor. So we're gonna give this a number two spot. And in the number one spot, we have the red wine from Italy. Let's try to say the name one more time. Montepulciano da Bruzzo. <laughs> Mi Italiano, a bella, <laughs> ciao. Yup, yeah, mm -hmm. that was me, I, do I said that. I said those words. Yeah, so to be honest, this was like the best one. I would say of them all. Definitely a level of uniqueness there. Um, I just really liked how it tasted for a red. Like, it was, like, I have to be like a drier wine lover. I don't like sweet wine at all and I don't like it too tart, so it was really good. Like, I don't really have any complaints about it. Um, and so this is the number one spot. I love that so much. Um, but yeah, thank you Kind of Wild for 
the six bottles like that was pretty cool um i do have a promo link for y'all i got a promo link so you guys can get um a discounted case on the wine definitely definitely comment what your thoughts are if you do end up buying i'd love to hear if you guys like them what you don't like typically as a wine drinker um yeah let's keep the combo going because i love wine so like this is not the last y'all gonna see of me and wine just know but yeah i do think like i said earlier their story is very interesting i think their branding was really phenomenal like at, like each one had like a coaster i could pair with it i thought that was really cool um i'm big on like fine details like these are like touch points these are called like brand touch points like for you to put that on the cork genius like like i thought that was so fire definitely order a box from kind of wild i think it's an interesting experience like you could do something like this with your friends for like a wine night you know you just keep it keep it cute fun vibes oh maybe i'll do that next time next company that sends me a box of wine i'll do a review with my friends so you get a bigger spectrum of thoughts on what we think about it um yeah so thank you so much for watching comment like and subscribe and all I have to say as usual is stay tuned for more content. Bye! Okay, so this is the aftermath of the wine tasting. In no particular order. Here's all the bad boys I evaluated today. Alrighty. I just love my makeup today. I'm so telling you that. <laughs> Are we gonna try this one last time? So I think I gotta like, hold it. Oh, every time, every time.